upcoming MMORPG and shared world games. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys MMORPGs and shared world games that are yet to come. And with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Okay, first up, Throne and Liberty. It's an upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft. It's going to be available on PC and PlayStation 5. And here's the developer's description of the game. TL or Throne and Liberty is a next generation MMORPG that offers a comprehensive and immersive gameplay experience. The battles can be affected by various factors of combat along with geological and environmental features. For instance, even in the same landscape, its terrain may partly change under different weather conditions. Okay, so that's how they describe the game. TL is coming to PC and consoles in the first half of 2023. This information is by NCSoft themselves and here is the link just in case you wanna verify it yourself. Now, according to the latest developer preview, they mentioned that there will be no class system and instead, we're able to switch weapons on the fly and the weapons will determine what kind of abilities we have. And according to the internal testing videos I've seen, it's looking like the targeting system will be tab target and there will be action elements such as parrying or defensive actions. And if you wanna know more about Throne and Liberty or Project PL, the link is in the description and on the screen. Next upcoming MMORPG is Odin Valhalla Rising. Odin Valhalla Rising is a cross-platform Norse mythology MMORPG playable on PC and mobile devices. And according to the website, it supports cross-play, but I can't verify this, so I would prefer to test it out myself first before I can confirm it. Now, Odin Valhalla Rising is developed by Lionheart Studios, a South Korean company owned by Kakao Games, and it's made in Unreal Engine 4. Now, it's initially released in June 29, 2021 in Korea, and it's planned to be released in Japan in Q1 2023 next year. And the release date for North America and Europe is in Q4 of 2023. Based on my experience playing Odin Valhalla Rising, it's decent. It looks great for a cross-platform MMO. The combat is not perfect as the movement and dodge isn't snappy or should I say not done properly. But I'm still looking forward for the English version. And if you want to know more about Odin Valhalla Rising, the link is in the description and on the screen. And if you want to verify my sources, it's in my website. Next upcoming MMORPG is Mabinogi Mobile. It's an anime MMORPG for mobile devices based on the old school MMORPG released in 2004, Mabinogi. Mabinogi Mobile was announced in the recent G-Star 2022 and they released a bunch of details about the game which shows how the game is gonna look, the starting area, party gameplay, and instance dungeons. And I must say, it's looking great. It's just, I'm kinda disappointed because it's confirmed that it's not going to be on PC. Regardless, I'm gonna check it out using an emulator and if you wanna watch the full trailer, the link is on the description and on the screen. Now this next MMORPG should have been released by now, but it's still not, and it's Mad World MMO or Mad World Online. Mad World Age of Darkness is a 2D isometric browser MMORPG. It can run on your PC browser, which I can confirm. And based on the trailers that they have, it's looking like it can also be played on a mobile browser. Mad World Age of Darkness is set in a grim dark world where demons rule and humans live in fear. It's an immersive MMORPG at its core, boasting a unique hand-drawn gritty art style presented in a 2D isometric perspective, illustrating a story which takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. Mad World Age of Darkness is developed by Jandisoft, a South Korean company, and they made Mad World in their own proprietary game engine called Jandy Engine. I already played Mad World and it's a good MMORPG. I definitely enjoyed my time playing the game. I like the art style and the dark fantasy world they're showing. This is rare in MMORPGs and if you want to see more of Mad World, I have a full video about it. And the link is in the description and on the screen. The next game is a shared world co-op third-person RPG shooter and it's the first descendant. You see other players here without doing anything. You can go to a map and encounter players and they could help you or troll you. There's also a main hub where you can interact and socialize with other players. And as you see here, Steam says it's coming soon and according to Nexon, the official release date has not been confirmed yet. We will inform you through the official website when the schedule is established. I played this on the last beta testing they had a few months ago and it still sure needs optimization as it didn't run properly on my 6700 XT on 1080p which is uh, 
with the I was getting 40 frames if I remember correctly and based on the graphics it's not that good looking to output that kind of low frame rates. Regardless, I like the gunplay and the amount of weapons that we can equip and the ability to change and level a character anytime you want. The raid seems to be fun. I hope they got a variety in here. They just need to optimize the game and make it stable 60 frames on the most common graphics card. So yeah, they need to fix the performance issues. Overall, I like this game. It's fun. I'll be checking this game out when it releases. And if you want to see my gameplay video on the first Descendant, the details are on the description and on the screen. Next MMORPG is Arcage 2. It's a fantasy MMORPG powered by Unreal Engine 5 and it will be on PC and consoles. It's developed by XL Games, a PC, MMO, and mobile games developer from Korea and they're pretty much known for making Arcage games, Moonlight Sculptor, and according to their company profile, they also worked on Civilization Online. Looking at Arc Age 2's first official trailer, it's most likely gonna be open world like the previous Arc Age, and as you see, the combat is action. And according to XL Games, the developers of Arc Age 2, fans can expect it to arrive sometime in 2024. If you wanna watch the part where they said the release date, and you also wanna see the full trailer of Arc Age 2, the details are on the description and on the screen. Coming up is a hero-based action combat MMO set in a mythological epic fantasy world and it's called Star Keepers. Reading the about page of Star Keepers on Steam, it says, Descend into the world as an astral. Embody different heroes and learn their skills. Venture into mythological epics and chart your own path. Whether it's taking a righteous stand against cosmic threats or secretly aligning yourself with different faction powers to influence the course of past history. The choice is yours. And as you see here, the planned release date is on 2023. And as I go to their website, they have a preview of the different heroes and it also have descriptions. And they also have different features that the game will have. So yeah, look at this. It kind of looks like a slightly upgraded Albion Online that's fully action combat. It's actually kind of impressive. Look at that. He's juggling the enemy. Anyways, cool looking game. If you're interested in Star Keepers, there goes their website and Steam page. Next MMORPG is probably the most anticipated MMORPG on this list. And yeah, it's Blue Protocol. And according to their website, Blue Protocol is a free-to-play multiplayer online action RPG where you become the hero of your very own fantasy adventure. And as you see here, it says coming 2023. And as we scroll down, we see some of the features of the game. First over here is the combat. The action-based combat system features simple controls that are customizable and able to match any playstyle. And moving on to the next feature, it's the character customization and it says, Become your ideal self. Choose your facial appearance, hairstyle, clothes, accessories, weapons, and mounts for a combination that's uniquely your personal style. And this next one over here is multiplayer adventure. Work together as a team with other players to tackle quests, fight boss battles, and engage in massive online raids against towering monsters. If you want to know more or read about Blue Protocol news, there goes the website. Coming up is Dune Awakening, an upcoming open world survival MMO. Rise from survival to dominance in a vast and seamless Arrakis shared by thousands of players. And according to its team page, Dune Awakening combines the grit and creativity of survival games with the social interactivity of a large persistent multiplayer game to create a unique and ambitious open world survival MMO. And as you see here, the release date is TBA. So let's go to their website. It says here that it's going to be available on Steam. I hope we can run it on Steam Deck. And it will also be available on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. In the website, you can check the different artworks. But if I were you, just watch the old school movie or the 2021 Dune movie. Anyway, if you want to know more about Dune Awakening, the details are on the screen. Next MMORPG is Night Crows. It's an upcoming Unreal Engine 5 MMORPG developed by We Made and Mad Engine. And according to an interview of Mad Engine, the developer, they mentioned that it's slated to be released on April 2023. 
and it's also on their WeMade website. And also according to their website, Night Crows is a high quality MMORPG that uses Unreal Engine 5 to pursue the highest level of real life graphics and it's being prepared for release in April 2023. And the main feature based on what I can read here is there will be a large scale PvP in units of 1000 people. As you see here, this is based on their website and I must say, I highly doubt this. Most games that have these kinds of graphics can even do 30 players per map. Well, anyway, I could be wrong. They may actually pull it off. And if you want to verify this, there goes the website. Next MMORPG is Ashes of Creation. Here is their website. Experience an MMORPG where everything is permanently impacted by your actions. Explore, trade, build, and let the world take form from your imagination, through your will, and into everyone's reality. What you create will be the cornerstone of the next explorer's ambition. Okay, so I've talked about this MMORPG a few times on the channel already. I think since 2017, and yeah, it's been a while. Now let's just say it's gonna be released in the future. And if you're following their Ashes of Creation YouTube channel, it looks like they're gonna need more time. And based on the gameplay videos that they have, combat is kind of a mix between action and tab target because as you see, the enemies gets auto-highlighted when an attack is initiated. Ashes of Creation is looking great. Look at this graphics. It's certainly something that I would play, but it has to come out first. And if you guys are interested in the game, there goes the website and their YouTube channel. Coming up next is Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen. And here is the reddit description of the game. Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is an MMORPG renaissance that values group gameplay, challenging content, and a keen understanding of risk versus reward. Pantheon is being developed by Visionary Realms Inc, which is a games development company based in California. And going to their website, here is some of the features of the game. And look at this, earn your glory. No hand holding, no easy mode, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Bring friends, you'll need them. Okay, so it looks like the dungeons are going to be difficult in this game and knowing what to do is gonna be important. And as for the release date of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, it's TBA. And the game is currently on pre-alpha testing. And if you wanna see the different classes and maybe the races in the game, there goes the website. Next MMORPG is Ares Rise of Guardians. It's an upcoming sci-fi MMORPG published by Kakao Games and it's developed by Second Dive. It was planned to be released in 2022 and since it's almost 2023, I guess it's safe to say that it's sometime in 2023 or beyond. And by the way, only the Korean version is confirmed. But I figured you guys should know about this because it looks nice graphically. And according to their website, there's four classes or suits which ranges from tanks and DPS and there's three regions, Earth, Venus and the Moon. Recently, they released a new gameplay trailer for the game showing the combat while riding a bike, some exploration, and it also shows that we can fly. Combat is action and there will also be mechs. And if you want to know more about the game, I have a video about Ares. And there it goes. Next MMORPG is Legend of Ymir. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This is another Wii Made title. Nothing much is known about Legend of Ymir. Aside that, it's made in Unreal Engine 5, there will be blockchain integration, and what we see in the trailers, they released on G-Star 2022. And as you see, it's another Norse mythology themed MMORPG. And according to WeMade's YouTube channel, this is how they describe the game. A new legend from the land of Odin. A reinterpretation of North European mythology from the house of cave fantasy, WeMade. Unlike Nightcrows, the release date of this game is yet to be announced and according to their website, more info will be out in the coming months and if you want to follow the news about Legend of Ymir, there goes the website. Next game is a shared world RPG based on the Harry Potter franchise and it's Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Harry Potter Magic Awakened is a shared world card battler RPG set in the Harry Potter universe. It's got MMO elements, action elements, and RPG elements. All of it is toned down, but with a combination of those, 
it made this promising world of wizards where you can do with other wizards, explore maps, defeat fantastic beasts, participate in Quidditch, and experience the world of Harry Potter. It's already out in Taiwan, but it's only partly English, most of the UI isn't, but it's playable just in case you can't wait. And according to Magic Awakened website, it's gonna come out in 2022. It's still not out, and it's a shame because this is a decent game. And if you want to know more about Harry Potter Magic Awakened, there it goes on the screen. Next game is Soul Frame. Soul Frame is an upcoming MMO from Digital Extremes, the guys behind Warframe. Well, pretty much everyone is saying that this is an MMO, but I can't verify it. Because look at the website. This is what we get. And when you answer this code, the only thing you will see is images we've seen in the trailer for the game. And the trailer is not gameplay. So this could be just an action RPG or a shared world action RPG. Regardless, it's freaking awesome. If this is gonna be like a Souls-like MMORPG, this would be a dream come true for me. Merging two of my favorite genres in gaming. Well, anyway, if you wanna try to answer the code on the website, there it goes, the site. Second to the last MMORPG, it's Digimon Super Rumble. It's a turn-based strategy MMORPG based on the popular monster taming game. Digimon. You can play the Korean version by the way. There goes the site. Digimon Super Rumble is made using Unreal Engine 4. It's developed by Move Games, a South Korean games development company behind Digimon RPG or known as Digimon Battle Online in other regions and they also made Digimon Masters. According to the developers, it will eventually come out globally but there's no release date yet. And since the game is already playable on Korea, I guess it's safe to say that it's a matter of time until this come out globally. My initial impressions of Digimon Super Rumble is great. I do see myself playing this when this comes out globally or at least when it gets an English patch. And if you want to play the Korean version, there it goes. The details is on the screen. The last MMORPG I'm gonna show you guys is Riot Games MMO. So how do I approach this? Riot's MMORPG still has no name yet and according to their website, they're making an MMO. And according to this, no, you're not dreaming. We're working on an MMORPG based in the League universe. Nothing much is being shared on their website aside they're hiring a bunch of people to help in the development of the game. But if you still want to know more about the League of Legends universe, how about try playing the MOBA? Me, myself, I've played the MOBA already. I have my fair share of the League of Legends universe experience. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be knee deep in this MMORPG when this comes out in 20XX. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.